guys. Um, okay, uh, I, I gave you a, desi uh, a homework of designing your logos for your project, right? And so I decided to show you what I did for other people. Um, my logo designs for other projects. Okay. Well, I haven't done that many logo designs. I'm not into really logo designing. I'm more into um, jewelry's book series, as you know. I hope you know. <laughs> okay. So the first logo I did for um, uh, for projects was um, a three R. Um, three R is about recycling uh, hazardous medicine. Okay, as you can see, so it's about. Um, well, the client wanted me to include uh, the three percentage uh, inside the logo uh, for the project, so I did this. And these are, as you can see, logos should be made inside this uh, After Illustrator, uh, Adobe Illustrator, so that you won't lose any uh, pixels. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now, the thing I about logo designing is you have to. The first important thing is you have to listen what your client wants. You don't just do whatever you want. <laughs> Otherwise, it will take weeks or months or years <laughs> actually to accept. Well, for for some designs, actually, the client wanted me to revise it more than four or five, six times. And I have to redo everything because you haven't done what they wanted. So for this one, actually, um, she, the project manager, wanted me wanted me to include uh, the three uh, percentage, like the main name, main uh, project name into a logo that should show the medicines inside a, a glass box. The whole idea is, is you have to recycle your medicines inside a, a box that that have been put uh, inside um, pharmacies okay that's what th the logo is about and well I think I actually did all the um, posters and um, stickers uh, for the project it, well it was a volunteer work um, I did because um, you know I love the earth you know what I do. Okay, the second one I did was that I can show you is this one. Well, it is a baby, or uh, baby goods. She she actually wanted the first idea was she actually wanted me to put the um this uh, sask <laughs> sask in as in a light bulb and my idea was actually this one include the baby and baby girl and the light one uh, together so she accepted the second one i improvised what she actually wanted me to do okay so you can actually improvise with good things um good ideas it could be accepted um, for your clients okay okay now th um, another thing I can show you is this one um, this is this is actually a whole brand book it's not really good one but still a brand book well DI is development interlink an NGO 
and their purpose is, is promoting education of young generation, Mongolian culture and history, tradi tradition, leadership, gender equality, and entrepreneurship. Well, um, so the D, I, I um, wanted to include the D letter and I letter in together, interlinked together. So their name is Development Interlink. So interlinked the D and I letter. I wanted to show with this um, symbol uh, logo with it it, it, sh it, it actually kind of looks like a fast forward sign symbol and and it is interlinked and I, infinite it can also um, show infinity and it is flexible to use in many other colors and um, well it's not actually used but uh, these are they can put um, uh, the flag or any depend on the projects or what they do it, they can actually use uh, the simple I uh, used I mean change the colors or backgrounds for the flexibility and it is um, uh, well genderless it's not it, it doesn't show any um, uh, gender <laughs> You might say okay and it is actually simple you can use it anywhere and it's balanced as it shows um it is it is not um like this it's, it is balanced well we'll talk about balancing things later after the midterm okay and for the brand book it, well it's not really full ba brand book but i tried to make it as a brand book you know the mood board um well i haven't used the mood board um for later in my projects but i thought well people think uh people suggest doing mood board before uh, d start designing any projects any design so, so you actually uh, find just random not random but uh, you have you look for images that that company or that um, certain uh, that company would do that uh, um, okay let me start you have to start looking for just um, random images that represent the client company so I thought DI include should include on um, traditional thing, traditional um, e uh, aura, and it should include na um, national um, what um, national uh, uh, feeling. <laughs> okay, and I thought it should include um, um, more. Um, it should it should be used in educational backgrounds and it should be simple i thought okay these are the mood board this is mood boarding okay okay and your logo should be um not really should be but it is in these days logos are getting uh, more simpler and more abstract and it should be used um in many other <coughs> backgrounds so uh, this is a mock-up. Well, this yeah, it is a mock-up, but it's not. Uh, usually mock-ups are done in um, Photoshop, but I I try to make it in um, Illustrator, and it's kind of ugly, but anyways. And okay, next one. Mm, uh, no. Uh, well, <laughs> this is. It was. Uh, it's not really used. It, it is. Um, I tried to. Um, it is a contest. It was a contest with prize, and they didn't use. I of course they didn't choose my designs. I uh, they chosen another one. Well, it was about a uh, 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 logo uh, logo design contest. It was about. Mm, designing a logo for their English language institute 
a focus for the Sushinto, okay? And I submitted a four, five, I don't know, four or five designs for them. And it was rejected anyhow. So they didn't like it. <laughs> With um, focus, I tried to include um, a feeling of focusing and education and centered. So it is, it is focused. I thought it was focused and centered and educational. And it didn't work out, but this one too, and this one too, uh, this one too, this one too. Eh. Uh, the button, where is the, the phone is missing. Okay. Well, they're not all. They're all not accepted. But any. But I learned a lot. <laughs> okay. Now. Other oh this one this is actually one of few uh, one of the first um, first designs for uh, this is not a logo but this is um, um, profile picture uh, for the Facebook page of uh, it is about cosmetics and she wanted uh, she said she wanted to include a girl well i did first i did this one for their project uh for their page but actually uh she didn't like it and she wanted her uh, to include um a, 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 a girl and and i kind of i'm not good at drawing um like hand-drawn things hand-drawn uh, image uh, hand-drawn drawings <laughs> hand drawn picture, hand drawn painting or whatever. <laughs> I just work with vectors as you know. And oh I actually you can see um, the fast forwarded process of me drawing my uh, what the logo not logo um, the profile picture. So first, I draw, I drew on a paper, and I, put, I took a picture of it, and I put it on on the Illustrator and draw on the on the picture, on the image I drawn on on a paper. Okay. Let me fast forward it more. Oh, and you know, for the color, you actually look for what they want, what they want, uh, what the client wants as a, uh, as as their uh, brand picture, brand color. So I look for many, 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 many colors, color combinations and stuff. As you can see, it took so many, <laughs> so many times. So many hours. So I've chosen one now. These pastel colors for the cosmetics. Well, the color is everything, you know. It's the first thing you see. Also the font too. Oh, I'm exporting. Okay, so this is what I did for this project. And oh, and this one is wor still working. Uh, oh, I did a lot. I think I sent a two, three, ah, two, two, two kinds of. Um, versions of uh, versions that they can use the one is uh, this one oh. and the second was this one they said it's not really um, it's too simple but I thought it was good yeah it's N and it's uh, chopsticks and spoon and 
it's it's a friend Korean restaurant, right? It's N. <laughs> but well, they they decided to use this cute one. But I love it too. Um, yeah, this was uh, it's still working. You can actually uh, order food from them. Well, I haven't tasted the food, but I well the client said it's good. It's I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> you can try. And okay oh the papa feet this is yeah it is also working one but this uh, took me lots and uh, lots of first wh wh where's, where's the process no well this is actually the final one papa feet is about oh where's the final one? this is the final papa feet is warm that it's uh food waste <laughs> Well, they're, they're, they haven't started um, uh, working, uh, they haven't started a project in Mongolia, I think. Well, they're still working on it. They've got the logo and they have the whole project. Um, okay, yeah. So, uh, you, you can see, right? It's, an, um, it's a worm eating an apple or any fruit. And it's recycled, it's green and yeah. I think I have the process. The process, well, it took a month. Okay. <gasps> yes, you can see. <laughs> From this, you get this. What's the final? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the first thing is I actually tried to include more cute one, but they chose a not cute one <laughs> I wanted to include the worm as a cute character eating something eating the uh, food waste uh, cute right no <laughs> I thought it was cute but well the, the popa popa the worm is eating Aww. okay so it wasn't a good idea. This was too gla glassy looking. It looks like a worm, but not gold. And the worm inside, not gold. The wormy, wormy, not gold. And um, a texture, texture, not gold. Well, and the final was, well, it was too much, I think. Apple, the worm on an apple, no. And this was actually accepted. And I, I changed the, um, I think the font is changed. Uh, you have to uh, give the client a lots and lots of version so that they can choose, not lots of version, well, two to three versions and choose from it, uh, uh, from these versions. So I, um, I chose Robaga uh, font and um, they can try uh, like a uh, rubber uh, rounded flag or mon also mon hide regular flag or roboto with um, added uh, uh, 3.0 pixels of rounding uh, it's rounded as you can see the, the font is the letters are rounded okay I think this one is uh, chosen right yeah so this is the final one mm -hmm. okay now, oh, about the mock-up, you have to show with a mock-up so that they, they would accept it. <laughs> okay. Now, mm, I think I'm done with uh, logo, and there's some that I can't show you because it's still in a process. Uh, okay. Well, what, uh, what the main thing I work on is, uh, as you can see, I work on, oh, and uh, investment page. So this is the page I've been working on for a year and a half. I think I, I haven't finished it and I have no time to finish it. And this is the um, website for my, for the 
mm, for the earthman page okay so what you've done until now is uh, the wireframe and uh, flowchart right and I, s I think you can say this is the wireframe but it's, it's, a, it's a simple sketch and uh, not simple but it's um, it's a full sketch but um, it is the wireframe you can say you can um, it's a wireframe for your uh, website you have to decide what to put on on the website as your first page and the second and the third and it should include and this is the illustration of that wireframe you should be working on after the midterm okay this is before midterm this is after midterm for you guys okay that's what you have to think and i think that it is it for today i this is the for the new part uh, for the old part you've watched um so many times for some of you guys <laughs> but i am going to still include the previous uh semesters a theory part uh that i've already recorded and uploaded on youtube okay and yeah that's it for today and i'm going to post it the two links later on with uh with your homework okay see you